Hi, this is Mika, your host for California Scenes. I am here with CEO and co-founder of CineQuest Inc., also author, filmmaker, and mentor, Hafton Hussey. Welcome, thank you for being here. Um, so we wanna find out all about CineQuest and what we can in the next few minutes. Uh, first of all, I noticed that the theme is energized. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Right, I think so many people, it's been the pandemic, it's been social unrest, wars overseas, all these things, the economy, and they, yeah. they feel a little bit deflated. So the power of a live event of CineQuest is to bring people together to energize each other around common sharing, excitement and thrills and inspiration of great movies, but also getting together in social experiences and, and sharing and, you know, uh, there's nothing like people getting together and around something that they love, like movies. And we've got world and US premiere movies, all kinds of parties and lounges. So we're very excited to lift people's hearts, bring them a great, joyful, energizing experience, yeah. That's excellent. Thank you for explaining that to us um, so we can enjoy it much more, uh, knowing the theme behind it. And um, I wanted to ask you, us, in addition to the theme, what else is new for this year for, for CineQuest? Well, our venues are new. We have the beautiful venues of the California Theater and the Hammer Theater downtown San Jose, which is just gorgeous places to premiere movies and to celebrate. And then we have, for the second half of CineQuest, a new, a new uh, multiplex, the Icon Showplace in Mountain View. Right. So that gives uh, people a great choice of, of way, different ways of seeing movies in beautiful places. That's excellent. So you guys caught that, all the locations that the movies will be shown in. Uh, how many films are in the actual festival? We have 84 United States and world premieres, which is amazing, out of 230 films. So it's uh, an incredible lineup. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, that was my next question. I want to know how far out countries that, are, that submit to CineQuest. Yeah, so we have over 50, we have 54, 55 countries represented this year in the lineup in many cities across the United States. So it's quite amazing. We're very, very strong in the program. Of course, American films, but also Mexican films, really powerful this year. Uh, Latin America as well. Really strong Chinese films, uh, Korean films, and uh, representing the globe again. You know, we have so many cultures. And the hard part is selecting the films, of course. What, <laughs> how do you select the films out of so many that are submitted? Yes, well, it's uh, three, 4,000 movies plus all the films wow. that come to us through our curation. So it's, uh, it's hard is the, is the answer because our standards are so high. And, and sometimes you have a film that just doesn't quite make it. And you say, geez, you really wish you had one more spot for them. But yeah. it's, um, but we program on quality always first, but also to represent the fabric of the Silicon Valley, because that's our home, so we look to the demographic and the incredible diversity of the people here, but not just with culture, but with all types of orientations and also ages and ways and walks of life. You know, we want to program to different folks and not just one way of thinking. So that's part of the excitement of CineQuest. So we have to not only get quality in our program, but this mix that represents who we are as a world living in a place, you know, and that's the Silicon Valley. It's not just one group of people. Hmm? Right. right. So the festival is called CineQuest Film and Virtual Reality Festival. How is virtual reality included? Uh, how is it involved in the festival? Well, before the pandemic, we were doing live experiences with uh, mixed virtual AR and right now people aren't quite ready for that because it would require uh, shared headsets. So we're just doing an awards program right now. We're representing the best of VR and AR around the globe. And we're presenting those awards on the final day of, of CineQuest. And then in March, we feel like people will be ready. We'll have ways of doing AR and VR that's safe and healthy. But uh, people are definitely ready to get together and be uh, together and celebrating. We see this in live events. Last year, a little hesitation still. But not now. You know, we're we're past the uh, the heaviness of the pandemic, and people are ready to get together. Mm -hmm. Right. So, could you share uh, who are some of the well-known actors, maybe celebrities, that are, are included in the films this year? 
Yes, and I have to talk a little bit more about the directors and producers, many of which are famous, and the, the people in the films. Yeah. Uh, we have 350 uh, artists coming from all these countries. We are experiencing a SAG and Writers Guild strike right now, so uh, the SAG actors, which is a percentage of the actors, are not allowed to go to festivals until that clears up. But we have some amazing people coming out. Jennifer Esposito is a director and producer uh, of the opening night film Fresh Kills, and she's also a big actor too, but she's coming as, as a director and producer. And that movie's a great one because we've seen a lot of mob films, of course, through time, where we see the women of the mobsters, you know, the, the, the mothers, the sisters, the girlfriends, but this is the ladies in the mob doing Good. the bad deeds. So I mean, it's very empowering, right? yes, it is. <laughs> So um, yeah. this is a story we haven't seen in that genre. So we're very excited about presenting this film and having her here and the two uh, other producers of the film as well. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. We also need to highlight the directors and producers as you shared. Um, so I wanted to ask you, what words of wisdom could you share uh, with all your experience in filmmaking to maybe specifically to up and coming actors or um, in development producers and directors, what would you like to share? Well, storytellers of all kind, whether they're writing screenplays or novels or using film or television or media or social media, you have an opportunity to impact lives. And if you're called to do that, be it as a avocation, a hobby, or your profession, um, it's usually a passion to communicate and to touch people. And I just encourage people, that sometimes it's not easy to do that, but, um, but they just stick to it and to have the passion and the persistence to, to, and find a way. And also remember that when you do have this tool and this power of storytelling, um, I encourage people to use it to uplift others and not to tear them down because there's enough of that. You know, we, yes. we don't need to tear folks down or make them feel crappy with our creations. So let's, you, you can always deal with difficult subjects in a way that gives the balance and allows people to heal and transform, even in those kinds of movies and videos. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. I mean, we're all going to take that into yes. all of us could use that piece of advice. Uh, so I appreciate that. Um, so again, tell us the dates and the locations of the CineQuest Film and Virtual Reality Festival. Yes, we open on Tuesday, August 15th and go through Sunday, August 30th. Wonderful days and nights of cinema, people, community, artists, wonderful stuff. Uh, the, two, the two locations are downtown San Jose and also the uh, Icon Showplace in Mountain View. And I talked about getting together. We got some big parties on the 15th and 19th, completely secure, lots of great food and music, opportunities to, uh, to party, meetups, um, lounges, just please join us. We we welcome you and we can't wait to see you. Well, thank you so much. Haftan Hussey, the CEO and co-founder of CineQuest. Um, we can't wait to watch the films and attend the parties with you. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Castro, TV host, actress, model. You can reach me at the sites below.